Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva, and let's make a nice trance detuned ARP. So one of my favorite kind of sounds to make, so let's go to a new preset here. And for the main transpose, instead of negative 12, let's go to positive 12. So we have some kind of like that. So our first waveform is going to be a saw, which is kind of fine. And then let's go for a second waveform, which we're going to go for a triangle. In our third one, let's go up one here to four, so up an octave. And then this one, we're going to go pretty narrow pulse wave. Something kind of like that. And let's change out our envelopes here. And then let's bring our cutoff pretty substantially low. And let's give some modulation for envelope two. Bring the sustain down. So just something kind of like that. And let's go for an ARP. And let's go for an order of two. And then for the time base, let's go to one over 16. And really to get the most snappiness out of it, we want to take the sustain down and kind of dial in our decay here. And something you can also do is change to the other envelope here and go for S-curve. So now we're going to get into a little bit of the detuning here. So let's kind of play it here and kind of detune the oscillators a little bit here. Just something kind of like that. And then some more detune is going to be added with the chorus here. Let's increase our depth here and also the rate. So now we need to add some delay here. So let's go to our delay. And for the left, center, and right, maybe the left, let's go to maybe three. And then the center, maybe let's go four. And then the right, let's go maybe two, something kind of like that. And bring up the center as well. So we're going to have the sound kind of going everywhere. And we'll change the EQ. Let's go for a high pass and then our low pass a little bit. Okay, so we're pretty much close here in Diva. So now let's go to some post stuff. So let's go to our pre-1973 EQ. Let's turn this on and get really some of that grossness out. Some of that stuff here. And give some nice top end. And we can really high pass this at least up to 80. So something with this here, which might be kind of interesting, especially in the compressor, because this is a really dynamic kind of ARP sound. So we kind of do want to squash this a little bit here. So let's go to a new preset here and maybe something around three or four to one might be nice. Let's add some nice reverb here to kind of dial it all in. And what might be nice too as well is changing the second envelope to the other one and kind of doing the same thing here with the S curve. So this would be kind of cool if you kind of started this ARP off with the cutoff pretty low. And slowly started to automate this upwards. Just out of curiosity, I kind of wonder what this would sound like with some distortion here. So let's do a new preset and kind of just dial in a little bit of distortion. Uh, 
know, I kind of like it without it, to be honest. And you can always do some more of the detuning by changing some of these uh, oscillators here. Changing our mode here down to down might be kind of nice. Or even to up and down. But yeah, it really depends on how much you want to detune these oscillators to really get that kind of effect. But yeah, so that's basically that patch in a nutshell. It's a lot of fun to play with. Definitely the kind of dialing and stuff is going to be the modulation on the second envelope. The curves as well, depending on how much you want those, I guess the envelopes to be snappy. It's kind of really up to you for that case. And really the detuning for the oscillator. So yeah, hopefully learn something. If you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below. And it can be yours. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.